Okay guys, let's not talk about the fact of the lighting because I don't control my light bulbs, okay? But also, let's not talk about how many books I have on my TBR, okay? That's what this whole video is about. Literally is me trying to finish my TBR. Basically, before we get started, my name is Sarah Grayson. If you're new here, welcome. And today, I'm going to be trying to get through my bulk of my TBR, really. Um, so I'm going to be starting off with the book that I'm in the middle of, and then I'll start with all the other books that have kind of trickled in my collection. First is what I'm reading now. I'm reading Caraval by Stephanie Garber. This book I am 40 pages in. Really, really good. And I don't regret buying it. Very good. Um, basically, it's about this basically show by master legend what's his name um called caraval and she this girl scarlet sends a letter for her sister tella or donatella um to try to get there because that's what her sister tella always dreamed of is to go see caraval but she finally gets a response after like seven years i believe or um, yeah, seven years, and she finally got some tickets, but then she has to, Donatella gets taken, and she has to, like, go through the game and find Tella, and there, it's a whole trilogy, so this is the first book, and then the second book is Legendary, and then the third book is, I don't know what the third book is, honestly, but that's what I'm reading right now. I'm gonna try to go through these pretty quickly just to because i'm not gonna say the whole synopsis just because it will take ages and i don't really want it to take ages next book is as good as dead this book has been on my tbr forever okay i've read um a good girl's guide to murder and good girl bad blood very good books it's just i am some reason this book has just been it I can't get through it and right now I'm actually on page 117 okay so I'm a good chunk through it but it's super long I think it's the longest of all of them and I'm just not into it like it's really good once I read it I'll get into it but it's just not right now so that's the reason I'm not through that Next is The Cheat Sheets by Sarah Adams. This book is a contemporary romance, I believe. Um, well, it definitely is a romance. But it's a friends to lovers and fake dating for from an NFL player and a ballerina. Next is Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven or Niven. Don't know. Um, this book I am in the middle of. I am on page 63. Um, I read it and then I got some new books and I read those. So yeah, Holding Up the Universe. This is a romance. I think it's kind of like a sad romance. Just from what I read first, there's a lot of bullying and stuff like that. It's between Libby and Jack and I think as a sad ending, I don't quite know. But yeah, Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven, or Niven, either one. Next is another new one. What do you know? Comics Will Break Your Heart. Why am I holding it like that? Um, by Faith Aaron Hicks. Um, okay. Um, it's about a romance. I just noticed I have a lot of romance in here. Um, I usually have a lot of thriller. I really don't have a lot of thriller. But this is a about a combo company that got bought or stolen. I don't quite know. And the two the two characters, one owns it now, one used to own it, and then they don't know that, and then they fall in love. So yeah, comics will break your heart. And I love comics. I have a comic 
patreon.com slash Tori Grayson. Next is The Spanish Daughter by Lorena Hughes. Um, basically it's a, like a thriller, I think. Like a historical fiction thriller, if I'm not mistaken. But it's about family secrets, love, hope, resilience, power, and chocolate. So, sounds good to me. Next is Family of Liars. No, you can't really see the development. Family of Liars by E. Lockhart. If you don't know, I've talked about this a lot. We Were Liars is my favorite, one of my favorite standalones of all time. And Family of Liars is the prequel to We Were Liars, but it just came out. And it is, from what I've read so far, it seems pretty good. Um, but I just wasn't that into it. But look at the inside. Like, bro. Good job. <laughs> but even the back and everything. But anyway, besides the detail, attention to detail, I really, really am excited about this. I just haven't read it because I'm not really that into it right now. Um, if you don't know, I did read Tuck Everlasting, which is a classic. And it's also a Disney movie. I need to watch the movie. Um, but I haven't yet. Next, um, this is a classic, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. And this book is a love story. And can we just talk about the lettering? It's like a school project to read this, okay? If you read one page, it's like reading five normal pages. Even though it's short. It's, it's that, okay? That's all I can say. Let's see, I have three more physical ones that are with me right now. Um, the other ones are downstairs and really don't feel like getting up and going downstairs. So let's just start with these three, or end with these. No, not start, not end. Where the Truth Lies by Anna Bailey. Um, this is a book that I picked up from Barnes & Noble recently, um, probably like a month ago and i haven't got to it but it seems like a really good book it's about someone who disappears it's a thriller and i think there's some romance in it like a subplot so that's really good and it's a new book and i think it's probably gonna start getting hyped up on tiktok but i wouldn't know because i don't have tiktok genuine fraud by e lockhart basically this is told in reverse so it starts with chapter 18 goes all the way down to chapter one and then ends in chapter 19. So, if it ends on a cliffhanger after a chapter, you're done. It basically, once that's done, you don't get to know what happens until the end of the book. It's very, it hooks you in. And it's pretty short, not that long, like 250 pages. And I'm really excited for it because it's a thriller. And I haven't read a true thriller by her. I've read the, because We Were Liars is kind of like a literary fiction with a thriller twist at the end so and like secrets but this one's like a true thriller so and i just got that one too two can keep a secret by karen m mcmanus karen m mcmanus wrote one of us is lying and one of us is next which is the sequel to one of us is lying and that's a very very popular book it's thriller And yeah, that's all you need to know. Next, let's see. Um, I want to finish the um, the Summer I Turn Pretty series because I want to watch this TV show, and I need to finish the second and third book. I read the first one, so I have it's not Summer Without You with me currently, but I'll probably wait to read that later so I can buy the book after I've read most of these. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what the last book is called, but I want to read that, and then I want to read The Seven and a Half Deaths, Death, Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Um, I also got that one a month ago, along with Where the Truth Lies, and then I also want to read, there's one more, oh, um, 
The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I want to read that one. But I think that's all in my TBR. Um, pretty ambitious TBR. Um, I want to finish it probably in the next three months because I don't read that much um, throughout the months. I mean, I read a lot and I finish books if they're really good, but I just don't read like 22 books like some people do. Um, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So exactly 15 books I want to get through in the next three months. So about five books a month. Well, exactly five books a month. But for right now, let's read Carval. And I'll see you guys in the next video. In the next video. So make sure you leave a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and turn post notifications so you guys know this one video. Peace.